Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. Today I have a slightly different video. I will be doing a monthly review ink video on my channel of any new additions I add to my collection of my fountain pen inks. And um, it's something that will really just kind of document what I get when I get it. So this is the first one I got, which was the Conveco Royal Blue. I picked this up at the Paper Seahorse when I went for the uh, Traveler's Notebook meetup. And please excuse my hand, it has a bunch of ink everywhere. Um, it's, I was just playing with ink and that's usually what happens. So this beautiful blue is not royal blue at all. You'll see a swatch of it in a moment. It's a very small bottle. It was about 14 or $15, which I thought was kind of pricey for it. But I still picked it up just for the um, you know, cool aspect of it. I just wanted to test it out. So anyway, so here is a writing sample on Tomo River Paper. This is an insert that my friend M sent me for Christmas, and I've been using it to document all my inks that I own. And so this is a big swab of it on the bottom of the page, and then you can see how it just writes on a regular basis. Nothing too fancy, just a blue, um, kind of boring to my taste. But I have it, I own it, and it'll be something I use for like serious documents or work or something along those lines. It's not really anything too crazy but it's still pretty and it's nice to have I guess a uh, somewhat normal ink all right on to my absolute favorite from this month is Sailor Gentle Ink Sakura Mori um, it is from the Four Seasons collection that came out I want to say a few years ago I don't know exactly the timing of this I found out about this uh, post its release and it kind of like sold out everywhere and I was looking for it in the U.S. and the prices were ridiculous because everybody was charging a ton of money because I believe this was a limited edition run. So I ended up picking this up through eBay and it came from Japan. So I had to wait quite some time. But it was a really good price and it's the real deal. So I'm very excited about it. And um, Sakura Mori is in a uh, ink that's supposed to be exactly like a cherry blossom pink a sakura pink and it is just so beautiful very pastel very muted nothing bright so if you are expecting a bright pink you're not gonna have that so if you do pick this up realize it's a very pastel pink very light so it might not be something that everybody can read or deal with so just giving that fair warning and here is a uh, swab of it and swatches um, it does have some shading to it it does have a little bit of dark um, once you're writing on the page but it's so stunning and I'm so happy I own this so 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 beautiful and when I saw it I instantly knew I must have it and I'm not a pink person so for me to really like this it's definitely a, um, a surprise but I have another pink one in this video so it's kind of ironic that the color I least like is the one that I have the most of this time around I do have other inks. I might do a um, another um, ink video just to kind of share other inks that I already own. But this is just to document the things that I add to my collection as time goes on. It might be a monthly video, so just keep an eye out for that. All right, so um, the last uh, ink I picked up was Lamy Vibrant Pink Special Edition 2018 ink that was released with the new Vibrant Pink All Star Fountain Pen. And I do not like the color of the pen, but I definitely like the color as an ink. I am not so into um, this shade as far as like it just being pink. I, what I like about it is that it's a bright pop of color, so it's different and it stands out. And I love bright colors, so that's why I really wanted this. And the price is so good on Lamy inks. So it, and you get such a big bottle that you can't you know miss the opportunity to add Lamy to your collection and th their inks pretty much work well the only one I've had problems with has been the Lamy turquoise but that's for another video anyway so here is a swab of it on Tomo River paper and some swatches slight shading um I it's it's not like the most exciting ink but it's just a color it's just vibrant and happy and bright and that's what I really wanted. That's why I picked it up. Um, actually, it w I didn't buy it. It was a gift from my fiance. Uh, we were talking about inks and he wanted to get me a little something. So he picked it up for me. Um, so I was very surprised. <laughs> but I was talking about it so much you now. I'm just telling him how cool it was. And 
he was with me when I picked up my first Lamy ink, so he knows how much I enjoy that green. Lamy green is my favorite green. Um, such a beautiful color. But anyways, so yeah, there you have it. Um, that is how it looks on the page. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and for sticking around through this whole video. It's a very chatty video, but um, I hope you enjoy it. What was your uh, favorite ink purchase of February? What are you looking for um, in ink? What, is, what are the types of inks that call your attention? Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.